Hey guys, it's Parker here, and welcome to the finale of Pokemon Shield. So, I am well aware that Pokemon likes to do post-game stuff after you finish the game, but I think I'll just do that in my own time. Oh, thank you. But yeah, I think I'll just do that in my own time instead of, um, recording that. So I hope you understand. So yeah, uh, let's go to Winter Stadium, beat up Leon, and finish the game once and for all. I'm not sure what Pokemon he's gonna send out first, so... I think I'll just go with Ingrid, see what happens. My match is already sold out, but this... i never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Parker. They know you're the one who caught Internatus to save the future of the Gaia region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon, Basian and Salmazento. I could not have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers. Crushing into the dirt will show everyone just how strong the champion truly is. Come on, Parker. Let's make this the final match that will go down with Gaia's history. No, a match that will change Galar forever. We're gonna have an absolutely champion time. All right, bring it on, Leon. Let's go. Okay, and I slash. Just wanted to do these in to get the crowd fired up. Super effective hit! I'm so like dancing less than routine! Dragapult? Sounds like a dragon type Pokemon. I don't know what it is, but let's switch out to Rare. What is that? <laughs> it's so silly. I hope it's the dragon type Pokemon though. Aim for super effective hits and sure far away to claim victory. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, it was a dragon type Pokemon. <laughs> good job, bro. A critical hit! Ha! Huh, pretty good, Challenger. Go Mario! Wow! 
wow. <laughs> Dude, calm down. I'm not finished having chance of time here. I don't want it. I don't want to let anyone finish it for me. Sorry. <laughs> Had a little brain dead moment there. Okay, well, the last Pokemon is just Dynamax. Max Rock Ball. I'll show you what Charles I can really do. It's a good guy to Max Time. I hope. Ingrid can survive Charizard's attack. His rock type is super effective against Charizard because it's a uh, fire and flying type. So I hope Ingrid can one shot this guy after surviving. Let's go, Ingrid! Oh no! Yeah, it changed it! Let's go, Max Rock Ball! <laughs> go, Ingrid! Yeah, we did it! <laughs> Time as champion is over, but what a champion time it's been! Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had!
Congratulations, Parker! You you beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You become a first day trainer, alright. I offer my I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. Yay. I know they're growing so strong, perhaps it's time to start looking ahead of myself. It's time we adults start working on improving the here and now, for the sake of all that's to come. And you, Parker, what you have to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting ahead in order to create that bright future we all hope to see. People of Galar, a new legend born right before your eyes! Your champion, Parker! They can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what she can do. Uh, yay! <laughs> I was like, what? Oh. The story is pretty mediocre, but I have, I have fun with this game. I think that's what matters, really. I have fun with the gym battles. They made it really seem like... Um... Yeah, they really focused on making the gym battles um, matter a lot. And yeah, I did like the concept of the championship finals being a sort of competition where it's public for the people to see in Pokemon. Because, um, in previous Pokemon games, um, gym battles and the league battles were kind of private. It wasn't really open to the public eye. So, I liked how they made gym battles and league battles public. It really made you feel connected to the world of Pokemon. So, I liked that concept, even though the story was pretty... it was pretty simple. But yeah, I did like, um, most of the characters. I didn't really like Beta that much. I think it was just too much of a simple, simple character. But yeah, I mean, I guess he did grow a bit and then... And the villains, um, they made you think the villains were Team Meow, but they actually weren't. It was actually Chairman Rose. Which I kind of saw coming, honestly. So yeah, um, despite my grip with the story, um, I have fun with the game. That's all that matters when you're playing a video game. Um, yeah, so for post-game stuff, I'll just do that in my own time. I don't think you guys would want to see me do the posting stuff, because I think... Yeah, I think there's a lot for posting, so... I'll just be starting up a new playthrough after this one. So I hope you guys look forward to that. Oh yeah, and... Um, I guess one positive thing about this is that they finally introduced the Dark Type Gym to to the world of Pokemon. Like they did have um Dark Type League Trainer, like um Karen from Gen 2, but other than that there wasn't really any important Dark Type um, Pokemon trainers, so... Yeah, and I really liked Piers. I liked Kabu and Opal. I think those three were my favorite gym leaders in this game. Yeah, I liked most of the characters, even though, um, Hob is just a very simple hollow. And Marnie, eh, yeah, Marnie was pretty, was a pretty simple character too, but 
I like both Hop and Marty. So yeah, I give Pokemon Shield a 6 out of 10. <laughs> Maybe a 5.5. Thank you everyone. Thank you Game Freak for making this game. The end. That was a very short Pokemon game, but that's to be expected. Ever since X and Y, they made Pokemon game really short. So yeah, um, I guess, oh, okay. Should I continue playing? <laughs> I don't know. It's only been 20 minutes, I mean 19 minutes. Congratulations champion here, I got a little something for you, a celebration. You obtained a Master Ball? Okay. Professor Magnolia, wow, you did have to come all this way. After everything Parker has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars to make Dynamax seem possible are parts of a tornado. And when a tornado was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Galar. But Parker and her friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax Panoma has long been an important part of Galarian culture. I hope everyone used the power of Dynamax incorrectly in the days to come. So, young Parker, please, do what you believe is the best. Poor Professor Magnolia. I think she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions, since she helped carry out so much of the research into Dynamaxing for him. I mean, I guess you're just gonna do whatever you want. Oh, uh, I only recorded for about 21 minutes, so how about we just like mess around for a bit? Huh, Parker? What are you doing here in the woods? Uh, the truth is, you say you felt like something was calling you here? That's, mate, that's pretty uncanny. I've been thinking, you know, maybe the reason Zacian and Salmazenta chose a place like this to sleep was because no one ever comes here and it's so quiet all the time. Oh, but I haven't had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Parker. Honestly, Parker, I never thought you managed to beat my brother. The greatest champion Gal ever had. He was unde undefeatable until he came around. It's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, Parker. It's okay. Please stop saying. Please stop complimenting me. So amazing, maybe, that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Parker, do you think... Would you be up for one more battle? Sure. Thanks, Parker. Just show me the state that defeated Lee, the greatest champion you ever had. I'm ready when you are, so just say the word. This will be a serious battle, are you ready for that, aren't you? Of course. This is it. Your chance is Pokemon Trainer Hop.
move. <laughs> I guess that was the risk I was taking. Oh well. I expect there to be such a gap between you and me, mate. So there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you'd be my unbeatable brother. And if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what the noise was about. And if it isn't Sonia. Parker, congratulations on beating Leon. Thank you. Thank you at all the start I could do, eh? You cheeky thing. Uh, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off as a senior professor? Hop, I'm actually not working as my grand assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. Yeah, you are? And really, I got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Gala region. And I came to care for Pokemon even more than I ever had before. Ah, here, it's the book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. Duh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got my own copy. Lined up to buy on the day it came out. Aw, thanks, Hawk. That's so sweet. I'll sign your copy for you later. Anyway, I got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. I think you'd expect great things of the lovely Professor Sony of the future, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I expect so. Sonia and Parker, you both amaze me. I got a lot to live up to here. So? What are you youngins doing here? Uh, er, oh, right. Oh, that's it, isn't it? You're putting the rest of the sword and the rest of the shield back to in their place? Can't just be cold and holding on to them forever, right? We were! Yeah, that's what we were doing! We are just about to do that. You forgot entirely, didn't you? What? You think the two of your besties now is dead? Nasty as the Zama Center or something? That must be it, Parker. Why if you felt like you were called here? Put the sword and, sh and the shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we got to see Zappy and the Zama Center again someday. Let's put the sword and the shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Okay. Let's return it. Zacian, Zalvisenta, thanks loads for helping us out. Took us a little while, but we brought back your precious relics and all. You and Hop returned the rest of the sword and the rest of the shield. Alright, that about so that Parker, why don't you and I help back? What are you gonna do, Sonia? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little more research here in the forest. Him? My power spot detector is going off. 
Well, 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 I thought I heard someone making some noise over this way. Who? Whom's? Who? What? When? Where? Why? Well, 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 you wouldn't be the Professor Sonia who wrote the book Gallery History. Uh, uh, hello, you, you bought my book? Oh, why, yes, of course, read it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course, I wrote an internet review for it. The awful book was filled with lies, so we gave it one star. What? There was some lies printed in that book. That's just plain rude. I am Swordward. Not Squidward, but Swordward. I am Shelbert. We are the new kings of Galar. We're descendants of the first king. And more than that, they're celebrities. New kings? Descendants? Seriously, what are you on about? What is Zachary 2 supposed to be? Oh, well, 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 could these things here be the Fable Sword and Shield? Oh, well, 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 these are all dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. You two are fake. <laughs> Why are you taking it? <laughs> wow. Hey, don't go nicking those. You just returned them. Oh, do shut up. We only happen to pick up some things that are dropped on the ground. If you got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong, hmm? But... There's no way anyone can prove who those ancient things belong to. Even if we can't prove it, they're really important to Zaxia and Zamazenta. Oh goodness, such a plebe and it's so pushy. If it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. We're celebrities who buy battles for twice what they're worth. What does that even mean? I, the magnificent shield burnt out me our opponent. Okay. Let's beat this fake dude up. Ew, you even have a luxury ball. How fitting. Okay, it was the grass type. Damn. I should've known sooner. No more warmers. Time to be hollow. Oh, how could this be? My, my Pokemon! He took back the rest of the shield! Just somehow defeated the adorable Pokemon I go strolling with. You're certainly strong. However, it appears that my older brother was victorious. Sorry, Parker, I lost to him. 
Wahahaha! Something on your mind, boy? You are concentrating at all during our battle. Younger Predator, is this the one who stopped and turned at us? Oh ho, now that I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child, snatching up our chance of glory like that. According to our sources, I believe she was also present during the destruction of the magnificent mural our ancestors so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute! Storing the mural our family has held in such high esteem for so long? Mural? You mean the one that hit, that hit the historical ruins of Son of Santa and others? And hold on a moment, Parker wasn't the one who destroyed it. That's the troll. Next time I shall bring Pokemon that will literally defeat you. Yes, let's do that. And with that, farewell. Thief. Hold on, Hop. Ugh, that kid, he's gonna recklessly run off. At least they call him Parker. I expect as much. I'm surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe that has something to do with it? His own rival became the new champion and his goal vanished before his eyes. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway, Sword, Squidward, and Shilbert, was it? I think I might know something about where those two weirdos went. <laughs> Shall we go over it at the lab in Wetcher? Uh, I'm worried about Hop. I get it. You feel responsible for him. I want to help him as soon as we can, right? Okay, we'll meet up later then. I'll head up back to the lab. <laughs> If you're in you, Parker, then we need a special charm on the two. Let's have a real fiery battle against him. That's Leon. Oh. Cool. I got a charm at her. I like Charmander. What should we name it? Oh, it's a guy. Um. Let's name it Dimitri. <laughs> oh, wait. Should I name it Claude? Because it's a. Uh. Well, it evolves to Charizard, and it kind of looks like Cod's Wyvern. Yeah, it's in a Cod. Him? Professor Sony, I have a visitor. Hey Parker, got you here! Uh, I got an assistant? Spot on! I've been busy with my research, so I decided to bring on some extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose has been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. I really haven't been doing all that much. You're Parker, the champion, right? I'm really glad to... I'm really glad I get to meet you. It's an honor, truly. Come here a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. You remember my power spot detector, right? It detects places where dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's a high concentration of Galar particles, the reading spikes. And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. Uh, what does that mean? Basically. With all the readings from the power slot detector, you might be able to find the sword and shield weirdos. Squidward and Shieldbird may claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? I'm just gonna call them Squidwards. Let's get back on topic, though. I placed power slot detectors all around Galar, and now it's their time to shine. Power slot detectors access! <laughs> so we're just fiercely typing on her phone. Whoa, whoa, that's a way bigger reaction than I would have thought. It looks like it's coming from Turfield Stadium? You can always dine on a Pokemon at the stadium, so that's not exactly unusual. But these ratings are way higher than normal. It can't be in turn out, you already caught it. Maybe it's something related to the Sword and Shield weirdos? You should go check it out, Parker, since you're a snazzy new champion and all. I still have your time out to show where the strong particle reactions are coming from, so have a look at it. Hmm? Your... Hello there, champion. So you came. Uh... Uh... It's been a while. Huh. How carefree can you be? You're the new champion. You're bigger than a dynamite Pokemon right now. 
I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with Piers. Then the Cyanus Pokemon came charging in. The audience is south already took shelter. I got everyone to stay down the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard right. More diamonds Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, Hop. I expect nothing less from a gym challenger. I knew we could count on you. I lost in the semifinals, though. Oh, Parker! I chased this red and blue guys and saw them head into Turfield Stadium. Then heard the uproar, and there was no way to leave it alone. I had to help out. Oh. So, er, sorry. I should have started on all the rush. It's okay, Hop. Hmm, those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get this Dino's Pokemon to settle down first. I'd be glad for your help against such a tough looking opponent, Champion Parker. Of course. Alright then, let's head to the pitch. I love the hand too. I don't play the Pokemon, of course, but I'm still just a bit myth they upstage me. You come too, bro, with the old champion. I don't know how much help I can really help. I don't know how much I can really help. If I come along, I might just end up slowing the rest of you down. I don't really know the guy, but I don't think Leon would be lost about all this. Though he does get actually lost a lot. You coming? Uh, okay. Pierce might look scary, but he's scary looking after others. He's a big brother after all. Alright, we should get going too. Okay, let's go. Oops, I should change out my Pokemon. Looks like things finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax stuff, no matter how many times you see it, I still don't like it. I can see your dislike for Dynamax and still hasn't changed, Piers. But there was something definitely off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere, and the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Quite right. Normally, Pokemon needs to respond to the Dynamax pattern or its Dynamax, but... Seems like there was some discord in the harmony between trainer and Pokemon. Did you feel anything unusual, Parker? I did. So I noticed something was off, too. There's no train to be found. There really is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. I'll make sure Turfield Jim takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You all really helped me out here. Thanks for that. Oh, and Parker! If you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. Oh, thanks. Alright then, follow me, little Super Star Sarina. Well, 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 looks like the Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Well, 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 the champion is inspected. Why over there? Ah, uh, it's you too, I knew you'd be here. Give the rest of Star back. Well, I never thought I get something that belongs to you either. Even if it were yours, you wouldn't give it back. What's with these two are? Get over here and start to battle you. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff should have been evacuated. The normal rules simply just don't apply to us. Yes, that's what it means to be celebrities. What? Who's disrupting the question is? You're just someone's strange taste and hairstyle. His entire style is complete black and white nonsense, isn't it, older brother? I mean, your hairstyles aren't that good. You think I'm putting any face and words on rude little punks like you? But it seems our experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let's try to die like an even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last, you shall reveal the true nature of Satyan and Zamazenta. What was that about Satyan and Zamazenta? You, despicable champion. We're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild because, you know, we're celebrities and we can do whatever the heck we want, apparently. If you want to stop us, do your best to chase that they're splendid looking bottoms. Ew. More like celebrity bottoms. And without farewell.
I don't like this, guys. So you're the one that caused all this stuff. Calm down, Hop. You don't gotta act so hard. But, but they're getting away. Yeah, they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run it unprepared. But still. Uh, fine. You're right. I get it. Good. Let's all calm down as for a sec. Thanks to them running their mouths, they know their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax. And that they plan to continue doing it. We have to stop them. Yeah! No time we hung up on getting back to Rusty Sword. Parker, Pierce, we gotta stop these two. Okay, and that was it for the finale of Pokemon Shield. Um, I guess I'll be continuing post-game stuff, cause it's kinda curious. So, I'll see you guys next time with the post-game stuff.